Sticking with housing, there's actually a new report from RBC that says the risk of a sharp downturn in the Canadian housing market remain low, but warning that rising rates are causing increasing concern. For more, we're joined by RBC senior economist Robert Hogue. Uh, Robert, thank you so much for being with us. Give us a sense of your overall takeaway because you do this health check on uh, the Canadian housing sector, an area that is keenly in the focus of almost every single Canadian, certainly the Bank of Canada. What has this environment of, of rising rates done to some of the hot markets? Well, well, certainly it definitely contributed to the cooling that we've saw, that we've seen in Toronto area and in Vancouver area, for example. So, so uh, uh, f for sure, we're already seeing the uh, the the, uh, the implications or the outcome of uh, higher rates. Now, that's on on top of other uh, uh, factors that had uh, already started to uh, to cool uh, uh, housing activity. You know, you you just. Uh, Talked about some of the uh, the, the B20 guideline that uh, imposes stress tests at the start of last year, uh, and uh, you know, earlier in the in the previous year we saw the fair housing plan in Ontario. So all those factors, and now uh, uh, the higher interest rates are definitely uh, have managed to cool the housing market overall in Canada. You know, we talk about higher interest rates, but you know, we always have to remind that that everything's priced off of the the five-year government bond. And I was just taking a look at that over the past five. Five years. I mean, you could have uh, been asleep for the past five years, and today's rates look very similar to what they did five years ago. So there was a big leg lower, then a big leg higher, but now we're back to basically where we were uh, five years ago. Uh, for all that anxiety, does that you know signal that for those people that are renewing, not much has materially changed when they come for renewal, so they won't be faced with paying those higher rates. No, but keep in mind that in between period and uh, the, those uh, rates had gone lower, so yeah. going forward those renewing will be facing higher rates. So this is part of the you know the the, uh, uh, the concerns and and potential you know, vulnerabilities going forward that uh, it, it might be uh, it might be an issue for some uh, some uh, mortgage holders now that being said like the B20 in fact you know, was designed to address those kinds of issues for those renewing down the road that they would be able to uh, to manage higher rates we talk so much about market forces and how it affects uh, prices, but what about structural forces, uh, things like migration, which I think is something you touch on in this report. It often gets left out of the conversation, but it is a big contributor to why we've seen some of the gains. Uh, yes, and actually that's that's exactly what we've done in our report, was to look at a number of metrics, a number of indicators, and and see what uh, they tell us with respect to potential risk and vulnerabilities. And uh, certainly you're touching on uh, one particular indicator there, the demographics, generally speaking, remain pretty strong across across Canada, and especially for those uh, housing markets in the GTA and Vancouver, uh, those uh, are uh, continue to be uh, you know, positive factors that would support and uh, and potentially guard uh, to a certain extent against you know, uh, uh, a, sign a severe downturn. All right, Robert, thanks so much for joining me. That was RBC senior economist Robert Hogue.